Well, greetings. Uh, I haven't done an update in a couple of days because I really haven't done anything. I received the racing radiator all aluminum from a company called DNA, uh, California. And when I uh, received it, I, it was kind of blurred up. The pack packaging, whoever packed it to ship, it didn't do a very good job. And the orifices, if you will, were not uh, protected really well. So it looks like it rode on the bottom of a trailer with other heavier stuff on it, and it boogered up both of the inlet and outlet for the uh, water. So I contacted them via email, and we went around and around a little bit. And I said, you know what, just send me another one. I'll send you this one back, and it's all good. So then I really wasn't satisfied. They wanted to give me a deal on cut me a financial deal. I have no idea what it was, but to be perfectly honest, even if they did that, if I couldn't fix the uh, the spouts, so to speak, to make them function properly, then I mean it would be just throwing money away. So I just contacted them and I said, listen, just, you know, I mean, it's not your fault. I'm sure in goodwill you sent it to me and it was good and I in goodwill ordered it. So, but at the end of the day, the transportation company, which was FedEx, screwed it up. So I said, well, you need to, I'll send it back to you, but you need to uh, contact FedEx and, and have them make, you know, financial restitution, so to speak, to the shipping, because what they did was not appropriate. So we went back and forth with a couple of emails, and then uh, I finally, I said, listen, we've got to do something about this. I mean, I have a unit that I cannot use. So they sent me back an email. It was very nice, and they said, listen, don't bother sending back the other unit. Just keep it and we'll send you a brand new one. I said, well, that's great, but I, I still will send it back to you if you like. I mean, it's no big deal for me. I can't use it. What am I going to do with it? So um, at that point in time, uh, I just got an email from a little earlier today, and they said, well, it's going to be processed in the next 24 to 48 hours and be shipped to me, uh, you know, no charge. I, I think that was, an, that was manning up. I think they did a good job, and I would recommend DNA, uh, I don't remember the total uh, name of it, but I got it off of the Walmart when I Googled uh, C3 radiators, and I found this aluminum radiator. It wasn't the cheapest, but I figured it would be back with Walmart and things like that because they stand behind pretty much whatever they do. So they ended up, uh, you know, I won't say they acquiesced, but I will say that they did the right company thing in sending me another one. And then after that, you know, once I, because the car sitting, I mean, I could really have the, the new radiator in. I'm waiting for the brake lines to come. They're supposed to be here tomorrow. So once I get that, then I can get the brake lines, at least the front one's done. And then I can turn around and, and take the car off the jacks and move it so I can get my lawnmower. I got a riding lawnmower. I can't get it out because between the boat and the car and the motorcycle, there's just no room. So I have to be able to back the car up a few feet to be able to get that out. So. I mean, that's where I'm at right now. I have to give kudos to DNA. Um, they did the right thing as far as the company goes, and, and, I'm, and I'm impressed. And I'd be more than happy to recommend them to anybody that's looking for, I don't know what else they do. Uh, I ordered the radiator. And it's all aluminum racing radiator, but three tier, I think they said. Uh, I mean, it looked nice. Uh, I, I still have it. It's in a box ready to be shipped. So... I'd be more than happy to do that. It's just that I don't want to feel like I'm getting being victimized because they are not willing to do the right thing. But as it turns out, I pressured them a little bit, and uh, you know they were more than willing to acquiesce and then do the right thing as a company. And, and I admire that. That's that's the way it should be. You should get what you pay for. I wasn't looking for anything extra, but I wasn't looking for anything less either. I just wanted to have a good radiator that I could put in that C3 and get that cooling system done. My water pump, I'm sure, is pretty good. Uh, I think it's real good, actually. But I think I'm going to have to pull it off anyway because I think I have a front main seal uh, timing cover chain leaking. So I'm going to have to get the, um, the gaskets for that and put that in. So that means I'm going to have to remove the, you know, the harmonic balancer. Uh, and the uh, water pump, and then replace that uh, seal, which, I mean, I can't say I don't mind doing it. I'd rather not do it. I, I'd like it. 
I would like it if it were perfect. But this is a 29-year-old car, so you have to admit that, you know, there are things that are just, you know, for sitting, it hadn't been on the road since 2011, I think. So, I mean, it's got eight years of just hanging out. It was in covered store. It was in a storage facility. Uh, so, I mean, you know, so now the next thing, once I get that done, I want to do the rear brakes because I'm probably going to have to replumb them, but I bought 25 foot of 3 sixteenths brake line and with flaring, uh, you know, with the, the, the uh, fittings. And then I went out and I bought a, uh, a flare tool and I bought a, a small hand tube bender. So theoretically, I mean, it's work. You know, once I get the front done, you know, then I'll move the car, get the lawnmower out, do whatever I got to do, put the lawnmower back, and then I'll probably back it in and then pick up the rear and then work on the rear brakes and replace, probably replace those lines. I'm probably going to have to do that. I, I need another set of jack stands. I had them, but I, I lent them to a friend of mine. So he's borrowing one of my, I got a six by eight, six and a half by 12 trailer enclosed cargo trailer that I let him use for storage. Because I actually I needed to move it because if I bought this car there's no I don't I just don't have enough uh, driveway space now I would like to rent another building I have a small facility I don't know how many square foot maybe 500 but I'd like to get like 1500 and then this way I can put a uh, a two post lift in there and diddle around with whatever I want to do I mean you know but it all takes money and. Money's a little tight. I, I mean, I, nothing's really changed for me with the coronavirus thing because I really don't have a job. So maybe I should get a job and be able to generate more revenue, be able to put into toys. You know, fills my days with things. So other than that, it's interesting. Um, hopefully my brake line comes tomorrow and then I can start working on that. And you know, I did the easiest one. First, I did the left front. That's the easiest. It's closest to the uh, proportioning valve. And then after that, then it's going to go longer because it's got to go around the front of the frame and go up to the right front brake. And then the rear ones, I haven't even looked at them yet. But I'm pretty sure that I'm going to booger them up trying to get them out of there because the, the, uh, the front ones, there's no way I could save the tubing. I just couldn't get them apart. So I just had to cut them. And then I figured, well, I'll just replace the lines and go from there. So pretty much that's where I'm at. So please subscribe, like if you like, and have a wonderful day. It's been a pleasure.